Do you think you could give me a ride to Norwalk? My daughter lives there. Tomorrow's her birthday. She looks just like me. But only not as crazy. <laughs> The Dead Girl is a power-packed movie that stars Tony Collette, Kerry Washington, Marsha Gay Harden, and Brittany Murphy among a mostly female ensemble. Giovanni Ribisi and James Franco both play creepy, offbeat characters in the movie, which is not exactly a Christmas time feel-good story. In the holiday spirit, though, Ribisi, who plays Rudy in the film, says that he has a bigger-than-usual family gathering thanks to, of all things, divorce. Yeah, it's mainly just getting the... I come from a big Sicilian family, and so it's mainly just getting everybody together. And, uh, and nowadays, it's this thing where, you know, because, I don't know, maybe this is not good to talk about, but why not? The, uh, you know, the divorce rate is so high, it's, you know, people get divorced more often than they stay together, and so families go like, whoop, <laughs> you know, which maybe, I don't know, I'm trying to be optimistic about that. I think that's maybe a good thing. So yeah, we have big Christmases. Franco also goes home for Christmas, but he's under pressure from family members to get married. I always go and see my parents, and, and my grandmother comes out. I have two brothers, but... Everybody's a little old now for the, uh, <laughs> the running out of their rooms on Christmas morning. Somebody needs to have some kids soon, and I'm the oldest, but, um, but I, I, I spend time with my family. The Dead Girl is set for a limited release in theaters nationwide this Friday. Franco's next project will be reprising his role as Harry Osborne in Spider-Man 3, and Rabisi's next role is as Miles Haley in Perfect Stranger, due out April 13th. Spider-Man 3 hits silver screens May 4th. Peace.